Hello everyone, this is Calico Kid with the Denizen command tutorial. In this tutorial we will be going over the schematic command. So it's interesting to note that there are two different places that we can get the information for this command, or any of the commands actually. One of the places that's really good to go is mcmonkey.org. You go to Denizen Help, and then Command Search. Now this has all the different commands in here. You can scroll through them, or you can go by category, or you can just search if you know specifically which one you want, which today will be a schematic command. And so this gives us all of our information. You have your syntax, your tags, a short description of how to use it. And then it's also good to note, which down here it notes it, is that it needs Dependizen and World Edit in order to run with Denizen. Another place I like to go for all of my different syntax and things like that is I like to go on the Internet Relay Chat, which I'll provide a link to. Now in order to use MonkeyBot in order to get these commands, we just do exclamation, and then you can do command, and then whatever command you want to use, which today will be schematic. And this gives us all the same information in a shortened version of what the website gives us. So here we have schematic with the arguments create, load, unload, rotate, paste, and save. And then we have the name and then some different arguments down here that will go depending on which argument up here it goes with that. So let's get into the script. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is create a schematic. So we're going to do schematic create. And then we're going to put a name in there, which I'm just going to use test. And then we're going to make a cuboid. So see you at, which I made this script here. So then I could select the cuboid really quickly with a tool. So I'm going to do player flag position one. And we're going to do a pipe symbol, which is also a capital backslash. And then player flag position two. And then we want a location to create the schematic from. So we're going to do that from the player location for this. Now this location can be anywhere in the game. Um, you can make it by a notable location. You can make it by like world XYZ location. Um, it's a pretty neat command. You can create schematics on the fly, or you can have them saved up for later for different things. I rely heavily on this for some of my stuff. So then another thing that's good to note is that you might want to save it. If you want to make this a schematic that you want to use for later, you're going to do schematic save, and then the name that you used on the create, which we use test, so we'll put that back in there. And then if you're going to do a server restart, you're going to want to put in the load argument on the restart at some point or just before you're going to use it. So we'll do that here. And then you want to make sure you put your name in there once again. And it's pretty simple and basic there. And that's an easy thing to remember to do on startup or just before using it. And so the next portion that we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to do the rotate argument. And with the rotate, this will need the angle portion of the command. Don't forget to put your name in there. And the angle can be rotated in multiples of 90, so you can do 90, 180, or 270 degrees. I'm just going to do 90 for the sake of this. And also up here, we're going to put in the pasting portion. So schematic paste the name, which is test, and then the location, so we're going to do player location, and then one of the other arguments you can use with this is no error. I will just use it for the sake of this. And then when you're using no error, it's best not to use it where there's any type of water or anything that can fall in unless if you want it to because if say you make like a boat or something like that 
it'll actually fill it up with water underneath. So just a little side point for that, but it's also lighter on the server if you use the no error argument, so it's not pasting so many blocks. And then it's also noteworthy to have the unload command or unload argument in there, schematic unload, and then the name. This is good so it doesn't eat up your memory. And so, I mean, if you want to use this continually, I wouldn't suggest unloading it. But if you're just using it for once, then I would have it load just before and then unload right after. All right, so that's our script. Let's check it out and see how it works in game. Let's do is in reload scripts. All right, let's select our first location. And select our second location down here. And then I'm going to create it relative to my location. So we're going to go right here. And I create it. We're dropping the tool. All right, so now we have it created. Let's go ahead and rotate it 180 degrees. I'm going to come over here before I place it. And let's place it right here. All right, there it is. So for this script that I've created here, I will go ahead and post that in the description as well for the video. And then this command is pretty noteworthy. It is a very powerful command. You can create a lot of things with it. I've made a lot of different animations, such as the one here. And it's a lot of fun to mess with. And I don't know, it's just a lot of fun for me to make animations and make different things for people to be able to see. It brings a lot of life to a server. Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial, and subscribe if you'd like to see more, and until next time, bye.